Good morning. I hope we're all doing very, very well. It is the BMP here. Right. Um, in today's video, we're going to be, well, I'm going to be showing you the Skeleton Warriors completed. They were completed these yesterday. Finished them all, painted them all, based them all really, really simply. So what we'll do is um, flip the camera around, point it to my little table, and um, I'll go through how I painted them. I'll show you the paints of use as well. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. And we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Right, what is up, folks? <coughs> Excuse me. Here we have my completed skeletons. Now, as I've already stated in previous videos, these were challenging to build. But once you get past that initial, these models are so small. To paint, it was so so simple to do, and building them took a while. But actually, painting in total probably took an hour and a half, I think, if that. Now I'll go for. I'll just bring a couple forward. This guy's have a look at this guy. Once it focuses, there you go. An absolute joy to paint, really, really was. The um, metal, as in the sword and the helmet was lead belcher i'll give you i'll i will show you a picture of the actual paints i used in a second but i'll just talk through what actual paints i used the whole model was sprayed with zandri dust um and then it was washed with agrax earth shade <clears throat> the base was sterling mud the Citadel texture paint. I've got to scrape all the mud off the edges, and you can see it's just still around the edge of the base. Then it's going to be painted brown. Um, the actual wood of the spears, okay, was a watered down Rhinox hide. That's a base paint. The same with the bows. That was a watered down Rhinox hide. The quiver, which was which holds the arrows, was a watered down Rhinox hide as well. Then it was excuse me. The green was the arrow thingy they that was um let's just try to think we use Vallejo paint for that was do, 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 olive green and yeah that was that the shields was let me just bring one out so I don't have to be careful and then the shield again just a quick dirtied up the shield because this comes straight out of the ground that side was technical corrosion. Now that's a Citadel um, technical paint. I'll show you that in a second. And it gives it that rusted look. And then once all the base colours was down, they was washed with Agrax Earth Shade. Then once that wash was allowed to dry, it was dry brushed with... Praxetti white. So that's really how quick and simple it is to paint all these skeletons. Now I'll give you a note, I'll give you a picture of the paints I used. It was again Zandri dust. They primed with that. Then they were washed with Agrax Earth Shade, a load to dry. The bases was sterling mud. The wood was Rhinox Hide, a thinned version of Rhinox Hide. That was one paint to three water. The metal, the swords, um, and the helmets, there's only a few helmets on these, was Lead Belcher. Then the shields and a few bits of the sword was given a Typhus Corrosion to give it that rusted look. Then the whole model was dry brushed with uh, Praxetti White. And the 
I don't know what you call them. Like the feathers from the arrows was olive green. No. Fang, go away. Sorry, that was Fang. Um, yeah, but that's the whole overall look of my completed skeletons. Really, really enjoyed painting these. So, so simple to do. Just bring one out, one I'm really impressed with. Well, I'm impressed with them all, actually. This one I added, as you can see, it's got a little bit of blood around the base. I wasn't sure about that. That was the tester. I added blood for the blood god, just around the edge of the base. And I dry brushed the base as well, just to give it that little bit of a look. So I might do that with the rest of the bases. But that's my skeleton warriors. So, so simple to do, so easy to paint, and they're all ready for the tabletop. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. If you've got any questions whatsoever, stick them in the comments below, and I will get back to you. Thank you very much. I've been the BMP, and you've been awesome.